Uh, the next six games bring a challenge for this team, close uh, to get anywhere near eighth, actually. They're only favored to win three of the six. They only have a 1.5% chance of winning all six games. Uh, the, the Lakers being thirsty is my favorite part of all of that right there. Um, I want to ask you, Chauncey, as far as the Lakers' defensive problems, and I know Paul made a little crack at it earlier, and we've mentioned it a lot, as has every other basketball show in the country. What is going on? Is it fixable? Tell us. You know, the one thing that you can always control as a, as a player, I don't care what level you're on, is just your effort. I'm just not seeing any effort there. I mean, I'm really not. I mean, and it's from everybody. It's from the leader, the king, LeBron, all the way down. It's been no effort. It's no communication on the defensive end. And most of all, there's no pride. There's no pride on that defensive end. And we're going to go, and I'm going to show you some examples. Oh, this is. I know you'll like that. It's like we're an 81 again. No communication, no effort, no like pride. It. Now, how many times, Jalen, do you see two guys rotate to the corner three point shooter? Wow. Now, two guys are going to rotate, but guess what? Two other guys are going to run away from. <laughs> Joaquin Noah, who's going to dunk this basketball? <laughs> Joaquin's my man, but he's as old as us. He can't have that. Now, look at this. Rondo gets a layup. Now, Jalen, you played in the league. Oh, the only my time goodness. you backpedal like this is when you had a hezzy jump shot. Right. You backpedal for defense. There's four guys backpedaling after a made basket. Oh, at home. And they give up a Fareed dunk. And they were losing the game. Now, Look at look at McGee. He's he's saying, yeah, I got you, I got you. This is the first play of the game. Oh dear. Look where his man is at. These could have all been on 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 the 81 tape. First, I mean, honestly. Now, <laughs> look at LeBron. Watch his effort right here. Now he turns it over. He's still not in the play yet. The other three guys, there's been really no communication, with the exception of Javale McGee, who's pointing, saying, "Look at somebody stop my man." <laughs> Jalen, you started playing basketball at maybe seven, eight years old. You yes, learned sir. how to stop the ball first. LeBron misses a layup right here. Now, Kyrie is further back than LeBron. Watch how this play ends up, Jalen. LeBron at least wiped his chest. Le First of all, LeBron's not even in the picture yet. Putting the onus and the pressure on KCP to have to decide, do I go run to Kyrie? Oh, but I forgot, there's a guy behind me in Jalen mm. Brown. That This is just, you know, yes, it's maybe fixable, but it has to start with some effort. Look at all of these NBA ranks right here. 30th opponents points per game. 29th point differential. 30th of points for the opponents three point shots and 28th for those are those ugly transition numbers. baskets. OK, look, that's just crazy. So LeBron James has obviously earned equity. He is arguably one of the best players have ever played the game. But yes. at some point, you got to be really, really honest about how this season is going to end up playing out. How much of it is the team? How much of it is LeBron? Well, listen, a lot of it's both. But to me, LeBron is the leader. There needs to be some more buy-in, a little more buy-in, a little more, you know, action from LeBron on the defensive end. Because at the end of the day, listen, if we look at all LeBron's runs and to the finals, he never played with a lot of young guys. Hmm. He just didn't. He played with a lot of veterans. They built the team, veterans around them, and specialty players. Some guys are defensive specialists. Some guys are jump shooters. Right. Well, this is totally different for LeBron. And he ha he's, ha he's having to carry a heavy load here. However, it is what it is. To whom much is given. Much is required. And that's just what it is. Lou Walton to the rescue. Because he's decided, instead of starting JaVale McGee or even Tyson Chandler, I'm just going to start my three best players up front, LeBron James, Kyle Kuzma, and Ingram, and we're going to try to outscore teams. We're going to play at a windshield wiper pace. The floor is going to be spread more wide open, try to create some mismatches offensively. Now, when they go against teams who have bigs that can really score, that's going to be another issue because they've given up a lot of points in the paint. But that's what they've decided to do, and it worked in the previous game. It's got to be hard, though. As we get older, to relate to the young ones, it's, got, it's going to be more difficult. I mean, that's what I would think.